Hello everyone, uh, I am here again with my new video and in this I am taking a problem on torsion. As usual this is a practice session so please be ready with your calculator, notebook and pen. So here is the question. It says that there is a hollow steel shaft which is 2 meters long and transmits a torque of 15 kN meter. The total angle of twist in this length is not to exceed 3 degree and the allowable shearing stress is 110 mp. Determine the inside and outside diameter of the shaft if capital G modulus of rigidity is 90 GPA. So you can write the given as I have already done it. I will be waiting till the time you note the question as well as the given down. Now here you can see the formula that will come in the mind is T upon IP is equals to G theta upon L is equals to tau upon R. If usually you will be attending the lectures you might be knowing this formula. This formula is a famous formula and is called as the torsional formula. So uh, you can see here T uh, is the torsion or say torque and IP is the polar moment of inertia G modulus of rigidity theta the angle of twist L length of the shaft tau is the shear stress and R is the radius that is external diameter divided by 2. So you can think of uh, one more from the same notation that T upon IP is equal to G theta upon L or else uh, the tau upon R is equal to T upon IP. So in the, uh, you write just all this down and so that we can proceed for the next slide in that I will be showing you how to solve it. So here is uh, you can see I have done it into three steps. The first step uh, here you see. I have done T upon IP is equals to G theta upon L and then I have put the values and you can see that the value of theta that is I have written 3 degree multiplied by 5 by 180 so I am confirming that I will put all the values in uh, Newton or mm so I get the value of IP and the same value of IP in the second step you can see that I have used and uh, I have got the diameter capital D and finally, in the third step, what I have done is, I know the value of IP already, I know the value of capital D, and I have found the value of small d, that is 57.79. So, <clears throat> in this way you can calculate. I will wait for a while, by the time you calculate. slide here uh, you have to solve and tell me your answers in the comment section of the YouTube you can uh, solve this question so that you become perfect in solving such problems if asked and both the questions are from the university you can also note down that the angle of twist must be in radians while using the torsion formula thank you so much for watching the video you can subscribe the channel for more updates.